Hey guys, this is Mike Scrapper. I'm getting a lot of questions on boards. What kind of board do I have? What uh, what board is this? What is this go? What board is this? What do I do with them? So I broke down this video into different sections, and we're going to talk about low grade, mid grade, peripheral boards, uh, telecom boards, motherboards, things like that. Also, at the bottom of the page, I'm also going to put a timeline where if you're just if you watch the video and you need to come back to the video and just work on green boards, I'll have a timeline showing that at this time, this is where the green boards, the uh, sorry, the peripheral boards start. Or if you're interested in mid-grade boards, this is where that one's going to start. That way you don't have to watch the whole video to find out about green boards again. You can watch it on a timeline. All right, so let's watch this. Not all motherboards are green. Some are gold-plated, red, or blue. This is a green motherboard. As you can see, there is a red, gold-plated, and a blue one. Now on this motherboard, see if you can find the socket for the CPU. This is a red board, and you can see the socket is there for the CPU. As well as this one, there is the socket. Can you find it on this one? You give up? It's right here. This socket is two inches or larger. This is considered a large socket motherboard. And these are higher grade of any PC motherboard. This also is a large socket motherboard. This is a Chinese motherboard. They're using less precious metals to make these motherboards. And you can tell with this one, which is red or blue, and sometimes the socket for the memory are different colors. These are like the lowest grade of motherboards. Any CPU socket that is two inches or larger is a higher grade PC motherboard. This is a middle grade motherboard. It is less than two inches, but the board is still green. This is called a backplane. It usually connects to your motherboard to connect more finger cards. And pretty much that's it. Now these are PCI cards. Some companies prefer when you sell them to take the metal off. Others wouldn't mind. These little cards that slip into your motherboard there. See that? The gold fingers. Some companies, if you take the fingers off, they will pay you low grade for them and just pay you for the fingers. This is a sound card. And this is a modem. Now what you see here is the front and back of a hard drive. What I'm holding in my hand is called a logic board. This board has more precious metals than the actual motherboard itself and is worth more money per pound than a regular motherboard. This is the back of a CD-ROM drive. As you can see from the bottom, I'm holding what they call a peripheral board. That's this one down here. Now, the top one here is called the low-grade board. Now, I'm going to show you some other peripheral boards.
They come in different sizes and they come from different types of machines such as DVR players, cable boxes, satellite dish converter boxes, even Xboxes. And you can also find them in flat screen TVs. This one here came from a satellite. See that? That's where the card goes in. And you can see the back there. This is a peripheral board. And I'll show you what a flat back, flat back looks like. So next time you're looking at one, you can tell. This came from an Xbox. And as you can see, that is called a flat back. Those are all pretty much how you can tell what a peripheral board is, except for the CD-ROM. This is another one. Here again is another flat back. And these came from a TV, a flat screen TV. What you're seeing here is like low grade type of telecom board. Telecom boards usually have a lot of IC chips, usually none to little bit of uh, capacitors, resistors, and anything like that. And uh, if you need more information on telecom boards, just Google telecom boards and click on the images. Now, mid-grade boards look like peripheral boards, but they're not. They have usually resistors, capacitors, transformers, or other things like that, and these don't have any flatbacks. So this is how you can tell if you have a mid-grade board. Now, as you can see here, these are removable IC chips. If you are able to remove these IC chips from the boards, save them. They are worth some money by the pound. SIM cards are those cards that come out of direct TVs or any type of cable satellite receivers. They also are worth some money by the pound. This is a floppy drive. And on there, there's a board. This is the board on it. It's green and brown on the other side. These are considered low grade boards and you can just keep it on the floppy and sell them as they are. You don't need to take them apart. This also is a low grade board. One comes from a TV, one comes from a radio. As you can see, there's really nothing on here and there could be transformers or other types of uh, things that have uh, copper on them that you can just rip them off. If the board breaks, don't worry about it. They put this in a shredder and it just goes in through a machine and they take out the metals that they need. These are the lowest of all the boards and these probably run about 10 cents a pound. All right, guys, this video was a little bit long, but I hope it answered all your questions. If you found this to be very informative, please click that like button. Till then, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Peace.